no matter what they throw at us, no matter they decide how they desire to whitewash our history, our story is worthy to be told. Our stories can transform us. Our stories can connect us. Our stories can help us through difficult times. Our stories teach us lessons. Our stories can teach us to think differently. Our stories will evoke compassion and sympathy for people we otherwise would not know. Keep telling our story. Keep telling our story. Our story is a comeback story that God is still putting the finishing touches on. Let's keep telling our story. Then let's keep telling his story. How a living Christ died so that we wouldn't have to bear the full weight of our transgressions. Let's not forget that our Savior died for us. Tell him he died for us. He died to redeem us from the curse of the law. He died that the comfort of my come. He died to show that death couldn't hold him. He died to show that the grave couldn't contain him. He died to save you. He died to save me. He died because he knew without the shedding of blood, there would be no remission of sins. He died for the very stripes that worked for our healing. He died and was hung up for our angels. He died to destroy the works of the devil. Our Savior died in a bar tomb. He knew that he was only going to leave the tomb for the weekend. Saints, he didn't stay dead. He got up with all power in the heavens and on the earth. In his hands, I hear the old preacher saying that he got up early on a Sunday morning. Say it with me. Early on a Sunday morning. Early on that Sunday morning, he boldly got up and probably put his foot on cemetery ground. Jesus died for us. Jesus died so we could be heirs and join heirs with Christ. God is our heavenly father. Jesus is our heavenly big brother. And the devil ain't no kidding at all. Keep telling our story. 